Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and for today's product spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at our Molly compatible and belt mounted flapped magazine pouches designed to hold a single 30 round 5.56 millimeter magazine. When it comes to a flapped type uh, magazine pouch, whether it's belt mounted or Molly, for exposed carry, it's uh, difficult to find a better trade off between security of the magazine, protection of the magazine, and ease of access. Uh, they're very popular pouches, a lot of people use them and uh, they've proven very popular with us over the years. But again, it's a, a very simple, straightforward design. Um, so let me first start off by talking about the different types of magazines this will hold and some that it won't. Obviously, your aluminum body, USGI, uh, 30 round 5.56 mag made for the M16, M4 um, since the mid 60s. Uh, of course, it will hold this with no problem whatsoever. The P mag, which is proven to be very popular, it holds that as well. And uh, to show you real quick, the Velcro closure, you do get full engagement of the Velcro, although it is at the upper limit of the amount of travel that the flap can make, but it does hold it just nicely. It'll also hold uh, other types of polymer body mags, such as the, uh, the hex mag. Same thing as far as contact. We have full contact, but at the upper limit. It will hold steel body mini 14 magazines, 5.56 type. Whoop. A little bit of an avalanche of mags there. And again, full Velcro closure, but at the upper limit, but it still holds it just fine. A mag that it absolutely, though, will not hold is going to be the Tapco. Uh, because of the ridges on the magazine body, it's just too girthy to fit into the pouch. You can get it in there, but just barely, and it's really rough coming out. We will be coming out with a series of magazine pouches for the Tapco mags here soon, and you'll be hearing about that before long. So let's get into the actual construction of the pouch itself. The uh, pouch body is, two, is 1,000 denier cordura nylon on the outside. It has a 420 denier pack cloth inner liner. Of course, here's a Vel Velcro closure. And uh, at the bottom, we have a number zero drain hole grommet. The flap is constructed of two layers of type 17337 webbing. And of course, we feature our vertically oriented pull tab. And the big feature on this is that rather than having a pull tab hanging from the bottom or end of the flap that can get trapped underneath the flap or be difficult to fish out with your fingers, vertically oriented pull tab is easy to access and it uh, helps you open up the pouch a little more effectively. On the back side, let's talk about the attachment methodologies. Of course, we have uh, for the Molly compatible side, we have our Spectre strap system, wherein the straps are removable and replaceable in the field should you have any kind of a snap failure, and this will work with any Molly compatible carrier. And then for the belt side, we feature our wraparound belt loop system. The way the wraparound belt loop system is designed to work, it fits up to two inch wide belts and is designed so that in, uh, for instance, on a, a duty or tactical belt, rather than having to remove all of the pouches from a, a particular belt in order to fit this pouch onto the belt, instead you just find an opening that's at least three inches wide, close this thing down, and you're good to go. Should you be utilizing a uh, belt such as our TAC Ops belt that has Velcro loop lining, we include a corresponding piece of Velcro hook on the inside of the wraparound belt loop so that when you close it down, it locks onto that Velcro hook lining. And then when you close, this will lock it in place and it will not shift laterally on the belt. Um, I mentioned earlier, of course, that it'll fit up to a uh, two inch wide belt. If you um, are, are using belts that don't have Velcro loop lining, or in this is where I'm headed with this, um, something like a, a rigger's belt or a pants belt, and you don't want to chew up the inside of that belt, we of course uh, include a pad that eliminates the Velcro hook on the wraparound belt loop so that it doesn't tear up your belt. But in using something like a rigger's belt, you would just close this down and use it just as a normal belt loop and slide it onto your pants belt, same way you would slide any kind of magazine pouch or holster. Um, regarding the Molly side of things, as I mentioned a moment ago, that this is three inches wide. Because it's three inches wide and the channels on, on Molly compatible carriers go uh, inch and a half center to center on the bar tacks. So two columns is what this would occupy and exactly two columns. So you could conceivably stack these, um, depending on the amount of real estate you have on the carrier, you could stack these side by side on the carrier 
within the limits of the uh, real estate you have available to you. So they pack in pretty uh, pretty nice and compact. And that's really kind of about it. Again, uh, uh, I'll say it again, a fairly uh, a simple, straightforward design. Um, and not much more to say about it um, other than to say that as with all of our products, these are made right here in the United States in Visalia, California. And for more information or purchasing, you can visit us at www.spectregear.com. Thank, thank you very much for listening and have a great day.